Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm at Utrecht at the moment, which is in the center of the Netherlands. I mean the city center of the city. Look, a quick reminder to you. I've said this before. People that hold on to the negative. I'm not talking about people that need deliverance. I'm not talking about people that need to recover. People that need to process things. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those that hold on to the negative. You see this fountain over here? I'm using this here as a parable. People that hold on to the negative, the water that they will emit, and it is effectively speaking, the water they will emit will be sour. It will be bitter. It will be poisonous. And if you drink of it, you're in big trouble. Okay, this is a parable, so you know so this is what I'm saying. Those that hold on to the negative, they're lying. Because you don't have the right to be negative. Because the negative is unreal. The negative is self-destructive. But yet, because they are so-called honest, they think they have a right to will whatever they will. And people just have to find a way to deal with what they will because they have their reasons. No, it doesn't work that way. Some even come with the BS theology that they have a free will. That means they can will for free. Uh-uh, it doesn't work that way. Well, people that hold onto the negative, they become pathological liars. When you think of pathological liar, probably you think of someone that speaks facts that are non-existent all the time. And they can't differ differentiate between fact and fiction anymore. Well, that is a mental illness, but it's something else. A, pathologi a pathological liar, hear what I'm saying here. A pathological liar, it's someone that's convinced in their rights to be negative. And not only that, they will blame you for the trouble they have operating in that negative. And they, will, and they will sincerely believe it's your fault, A, that they are negative, and B, that they are encountering all, these, all those difficulties. Yes, they'll sincerely believe it's you. They've become pathological. And once they become pathological, they'll become desperate. Now they need to have group, a group of people around them that supports them because they need a support group to enable the lie. And let me tell you, once one has reached that state, the lying doesn't stop. The violence doesn't stop. Such individuals aren't always walking out there with guns, screaming and looking for trouble. Some end up that way. But many can be people you go to work with or maybe some relatives of yours or someone that goes to church, because in church you have many of such people also. They are reprobates in the name of Christ, but still reprobates. They hold on to a lot of disturbing theologies that, you, that you're going to think, what the heck is this? But I'm, I'm not going into that right now. Just realize that a pathological liar is that a pathological liar. He or she will do anything to anyone to preserve their self-validation. Listen what I'm saying. They'll do anything to anyone to preserve their rights to will whatever they will. Yes, they will. The only reason it hasn't happened yet is because of pressure. They still can lose things that are important to them, like family ties or a good reputation. The moment they have nothing left to lose, they lose it. For real. So, beware of the fountain you're drinking from. Okay, I said it. maybe I should have said it better. Beware of the fountain you go to to drink. Maybe that's better. Because if the fountain you're drinking from, from is poisoned, oh, that's not a good, that's not a good uh, situation. So, don't judge based on your own expectations and your own needs. Be Christ-centered. Look at the bigger picture. And once you notice someone is a pathological liar, don't turn on them because that's a trap of the enemy. Now you're, then you're bound to their negative. Don't just say things to their face, to be honest, you, you, because then you're imitating them and they feel gratified when you do that. So that will empower them. Keep walking love towards them while distancing yourself safely. And disappear. Just vanish from them. Because I'm telling you, don't expect any improvement over there. Such individual can change, they can be delivered, but many of them are rapper-based already and they'll only grow worse and worse as time passes by. And if such a pathological liar comes to you 
and claims that he or she has changed, don't believe it. I'm telling you, don't believe it. Remember, those are, they've become like children of the devil through adoption. Just like the devil lies all the time, they lie all the time also. Well, I'm going to walk towards the train station now. Look, I want you to be safe. I want you to operate in safety. That's why I want you to agree with Christ. That's why I warn you about such individuals, because some of those reprobates, because they're already reprobates, I said they are almost reprobates, but I correct myself, they are reprobates. Some of them will even claim to be brothers and sisters in Christ. If you have social media, they'll come to social media, give all kinds of lovely comments and praising you, while they're raging wolves on the inside. Keep your eyes open. I agree with Christ, I'm telling you. Be at peace.